you should keep your hard-earned cash and spend it on things that actually matter to you. Whether it's saving for a dream vacation, investing in your future, or just having extra to enjoy with friends and family, learning where you can cut costs without cutting corners can transform your financial future. Here are 22 things poor people waste money on. Number 1. Convenience foods. Convenience foods are meals that come ready to eat or easy to prepare, like frozen dinners or instant noodles. They might save time, but they cost more than if you bought the ingredients to make the same meal yourself. For example, making a pasta dish at home is cheaper than buying a prepackaged pasta meal. When you choose ingredients and cook your meal, you spend less money and often get more food. Number 2. Fast food. Fast food might seem cheap and quick. But eating it a lot can cost you more money and harm your health over time. Regularly eating burgers, fries, and sodas can lead to health problems like obesity and heart disease, which might result in expensive doctor visits and medicines later. Also, spending money on fast food often adds up to more than the cost of healthier meals you can make at home. So fast food isn't as cheap as it looks. Number 3. Brand Name Products Brand name products like famous sneaker brands or popular cereals often cost more just because of their name. But you can save money by choosing generic or store brand items instead. These products are usually just as good but cost a lot less. For example, a no-name cereal might taste the same as a brand name one but for half the price. By picking generics over brand names, you keep more money in your pocket for other important things. Number 4. Oversized Portions Buying food in oversized portions might seem like a good deal, but it can lead to waste and spending more money than necessary. When you buy more food than you can eat, it might go bad before you get a chance to eat it all. This means you're throwing away both food and money. Learning to buy just the right amount of food you need helps save money and reduces waste, making it a smarter choice. Number 5. Cable TV Subscriptions Cable TV subscriptions can be really expensive, and you might not watch all the channels you're paying for. Nowadays, there are cheaper options like streaming services where you can watch movies and shows online anytime you want. These services often cost less than cable and let you choose exactly what you want to watch without paying for extra channels. By switching from cable to a streaming service, you can save money and still enjoy your favorite shows. Number 6. High Electricity Bills High electricity bills can eat up a lot of your money, but there are simple ways to reduce your energy use and save. Turn off lights and electronics when you're not using them. Use energy-saving light bulbs. They last longer and use less power. Keep windows and doors closed when the heat or air conditioning is on. Also, try not to open the fridge too often. These small changes can make a big difference in your electricity bill. Number 7. Expensive Cleaning Products Expensive cleaning products can quickly use up your money, but you can make your own for much less. Simple ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, and lemon can clean just as well as store-bought cleaners. For example, mixing vinegar with water makes a great window cleaner, while baking soda can scrub away tough stains. These DIY alternatives are not only cheaper but also less harsh on the environment. Making your own cleaning supplies saves money and is easy to do. Number 8 unused gym memberships. Paying for a gym membership you don't use is like throwing money away. There are plenty of ways to exercise for free. You can go for a run or walk in your neighborhood or a nearby park. Doing workout videos on the internet, cycling, or playing sports with friends are great options too. You can also do exercises like push-ups and sit-ups at home. These free activities keep you fit without spending money on a gym membership. Number 9. High Interest Credit Cards High interest credit cards can make it really hard to pay off what you owe because the interest, the extra money you pay for borrowing, is so high. To avoid this, look for credit cards with lower interest rates. Sometimes, banks offer special deals with lower rates. Another option is to use a debit card or cash instead so you don't spend money you don't have. This way, you won't get stuck paying lots of extra money in interest. Number 10. Payday Loans Payday loans are short-term loans that seem helpful but can trap you in a cycle of debt. They have very high interest rates, meaning you end up paying back much more than you borrowed. If you can't pay it back on time, you might need to take another loan, creating a never-ending cycle. 
It's better to avoid these loans and look for other ways to manage your money, like saving a little bit for emergencies. Number 11, bank overdraft fees. Bank overdraft fees happen when you spend more money than you have in your account, and the bank charges you a fee. These fees can add up and cost a lot. To avoid them, keep track of how much money you have in your account. You can do this by regularly checking your balance online or with a mobile app. Also, try to spend less than you have, and consider setting up alerts to warn you when your balance is low. Number 12, extended warranties. Extended warranties are extra protection you can buy for things like electronics or appliances, but they often aren't worth the cost. Many products don't break during the warranty period, so you might spend money for nothing. Plus, if something does go wrong, the repair cost might be less than the warranty price. It's better to save the money you'd spend on an extended warranty or use it to pay for repairs only if you need them. Number 13. Expensive car loans. Expensive car loans can make it hard to manage your money because you're paying a lot each month just for your car. Instead of getting stuck with a big loan, consider cheaper ways to get around. You could use public transportation like buses and trains, which cost less. Riding a bike or walking is even cheaper and good for your health. If you really need a car, look for a used one that's reliable but costs less. Number 14. Premium Gasoline Premium gasoline is more expensive fuel that some people think is better for their car. But not all cars need it. Most cars run just fine on regular gasoline. Using premium when your car doesn't require it is like paying extra for something you don't need. You can save money by using the type of gas your car's manual recommends. Only some high-performance cars need premium gas, so it's smart to check before you fill up. Number 15. Frequent Uber Lyft Use Using Uber or Lyft a lot can quickly become expensive. It's like paying for a private ride each time you need to go somewhere. If there's public transportation like buses or trains near you, they can be a much cheaper option. Public transportation costs less, and you can still get to where you need to go. It might take a bit longer, but you'll save a lot of money over time that you can use for other things. Number 16. Neglecting car maintenance. Ignoring car maintenance, like not changing the oil or checking the tires, might seem like it saves money now, but it can lead to bigger, more expensive problems later. For example, not changing the oil can cause your car's engine to run badly and eventually break down, costing a lot more to fix than regular oil changes. Keeping up with small maintenance tasks helps your car run better and longer, saving you money in the long run. Number 17. Lottery Tickets Buying lottery tickets might feel exciting because you dream of winning big. However, the chances of actually winning are super low, almost like trying to hit a tiny target blindfolded. Instead of spending money on lottery tickets, you could save it or use it to buy something you really need. Saving a little bit of money regularly can add up over time, giving you a better chance of having more money in the future, unlike the lottery. Number 18. Impulse Buys Impulse buys are when you see something and decide to buy it right away without really thinking about it. This can lead to spending money on things you don't actually need. A good trick to avoid this is to wait a day before buying something you suddenly want. This gives you time to think about if you really need it or if you just want it because you saw it. Often you might find you don't want it as much the next day. Number 19. Subscription services. Subscription services like streaming movies, music, or game apps charge you every month. It's easy to sign up for many and forget about them, even if you're not using them all. To save money, look at which ones you really use and enjoy. If there's a service you haven't used in a while, consider canceling it. This way, you only pay for what you actually enjoy, and you can save money for other important things. Number 20. Expensive Hobbies Expensive hobbies like collecting brand name sneakers or high-tech gadgets can cost a lot of money. Instead, you can look for hobbies that don't require much money but are still fun. For example, drawing, reading, or playing sports like soccer or basketball can be inexpensive or even free. You can also explore hobbies that use things you already have at home. Finding budget-friendly hobbies helps you have fun and learn new skills without spending a lot of money. Number 21. Fast fashion. Fast fashion is buying cheap clothes that are in style right now but go out of fashion quickly. This can waste money because you keep buying new clothes to keep up with trends. 
Instead, buying timeless pieces that don't go out of style means you can wear them for years. These clothes might cost more up front but save money over time because you buy less often. Choosing quality over quantity is smarter and keeps your wardrobe fresh without constantly spending. Number 22. Brand Name Sneakers Brand name sneakers, like the ones athletes and celebrities wear, can be really expensive. Just because they have a famous logo, it doesn't mean they're the only good shoes out there. There are many cost-effective alternatives that are just as stylish and durable but cost a lot less. You can find great shoes that fit well and look cool without spending a ton of money. This way, you can save or use your money for other important things.